Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another song tutorial and another holiday classic. In today's session I'm going to be breaking down kind of my interpretation of the Dean Martin version of Winter Wonderland. Now this is one of those tunes that everybody plays a little bit differently, mainly because there's just so many different versions of it out there and also there's a lot of different ways that you can interpret the chords that are being implied by the string ensembles that lead these arrangements. But I think I've done a pretty good job of coming up with some chords that work with the melody uh, using the bass line and those string sections. So we're gonna get started learning how to play the main melody using some fingerstyle technique. Then I'll break down the chord progressions and the rhythm options for the verse and chorus sections. I got a full tab and guitar pro for you as always at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. A one, two, and three. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening, a beautiful sight, we're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland, gone away, is the bluebird, yeah here to stay, is the new bird. He sings a love song as we go along Walking in a winter wonderland In the meadow we could build a snowman And pretend that he is passing brown Or you say are you married, we'll say no man But you can do the job while you're in town Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland, in the meadow we could build a snowman and pretend that he's passing brown. You say, I am married, we'll say no, man. But you can do the job while you're in town. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in to one lane yeah walking in through the winter one lane let's break that down okay close to get the fretboard getting started breaking down our finger style instrumental intro it's gonna look and sound like this at a nice slow tempo. Of course, I'll have tabs up on the screen, which you can download and print out at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Looks and sounds like this. A one, two, and... Okay, so that begins with a very cool Paul Simon style walk up to the C major chord. This is something I'm adding into the arrangement. Looks and sounds like this. Get started with two empty beats. A one, two, and. Okay, so that's the third fret low E string with the open B. Open A and first fret B. Frets two and three of the same strings. And then back where we started, frets three and zero. One, 
two, and. All right, that's gonna lead us into measure number two and a little bit of that recognizable melody. Okay, so there we have this Travis style pattern with an alternating bass and the melody line being played over top. A very cool style. We're starting off with a C major chord with the high G note, third fret high E string included. I'm gonna strike the A string, B and high E strings together, my middle finger kind of doing a paintbrush motion upward. Then D and G. Alternate my bass. Then a brush stroke on the treble strings. Followed by the third fret high E string by itself. All right, I get my middle finger back into position for measure number three, which sounds like this. Okay, so that was a C major chord, third fret high E. Next, we're gonna reach for a very dissonant chord shape, C sharp diminished seven. Frets four, five, three, five. All right, so far you have. Next, we're gonna play three, three on the high E string before transitioning to a G major chord. That's a great place to stop and practice. Three measures of music. A one, two, and three, and four, and. All right, then onto the G major chord where we're gonna play. That's G major going to G dominant seven. Okay, so we're starting off on the G chord, a triple pluck. D, G, back to the bass note, then the treble strings, the sweep strum, and then the third fret high E string by itself, maybe a little bit of the B string involved. That first measure of G. All right, then G dominant seven, triple pluck, third fret high E string by itself, and then low E, G string, D string. All right, you put those two measures together and we have, follow along with the tab. And you put the entire line of music together and we have five measures of music. A one, two, and three, and four, and... Okay, that'll get us to the second line of this chord melody intro. It's gonna look and sound like this real slow, starting with a G major chord in D shaped position. Definitely taking some liberties here. I'm taking that melody and using it to kind of create a turnaround section to get me into the verse. Okay, so that started off with this G major going down to an F slash G chord. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the G major chord with a brush stroke, B string, back to high A. Take that shape down a full step, bar across all six strings, grabbing the low E string third fret. All right, then I'll tap B and high E string twice before going to the next measure. All right, next we have E minor going to D minor seven. And then walking down the fourth fret of the low E string. Okay, so there I had the fifth fret B string and third fret high E string. As an option, I'll slide up into that position. Three times. Next, I'll grab fifth fret of the A string, fifth fret G, and sixth fret of the B string. Before grabbing the low E string fourth fret. You put those two measures together and we have real slow. Now sometimes I like to throw in a little slap there, something like this. All right, from there we're going to set up a turnaround. All right, so here I'm kind of implying the chord A minor. I've got fifth fret of the G string and B string. 
I'm gonna couple that with the open A string. Sometimes I like to slide up into this position as well. All right, so those two notes twice before a chromatic walk. All right, zero, one, two, three on the E string and B string. Next, high E string, three, and then open high E again. Put that measure together and we've got. Before going to C major, bass, down, up, and a strum through of the G dominant seven, sharp five chord. A great chord to throw in at the end of a progression in the key of C uh, to kind of turn things back around again. Okay, put that entire line of music together and we have, starting from the G major chord in D-shaped position. Down, a bass, down. Okay, now the entire intro section should sound like this. See if you can play along at a slow tempo. A one, two, and three, and four, and C. Diminished. G. C. Sleigh bells ring. All right, if you can play all of that, then you're ready to move into the verse section. Okay, very well done everybody. You have that intro section down, now we're jumping into the verse section. This part is pretty simple, but a ton of fun. That G dominant seven, sharp five chord gets us started. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Right there, that's our first line of music. So we take that C chord and we have that alternating bass. So, bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up. Bass, down, up. Next, borrowing from Chet Atkins, an optional C sharp diminished seven chord. Down, down, up. Once again, this chord shape frets four, five, three, five, three. Okay, put that line together and we have. Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Down, down, up. Next, we'll go to the G major chord and play. In the lane, snow is glistening. Lots and lots of different strumming options here, but what works best is just bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can decide if you want to play quarter notes or eighth notes. Okay, now the next line of music will look and sound like this. A beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Ah, uh, an optional walk up will sound great getting us into the hook. Okay, so here I'm using the chords G, F, E minor, A7 flat nine, which is really just a G diminished chord with an A in the bass. And I'm choosing those chords because I'm listening to the bass line. So in the original track I hear, All right, to get us into the hook in the final line of the verse. In addition to that, I'm also listening to the strings. This is how you kind of can come up with the chords that work best for your performance. In the string section, they're playing something like this. That extremely dissonant B flat note, and I wanted to fit that note in to my arrangement because I think it adds so much flavor and it's so interesting. Okay, so once more. All right, so we're taking the G major chord, down, up, slap, the F major chord, up, up, down, up, E minor, down, up, down, and then finally, A7 flat nine, down. All right, here I have frets, five, five, six, five, six. Then we can play zero, four, and that'll get us to the final line of music. Walking in a winter wonderland. Once again, thrown in that dominant seven sharp five chord. 
So right there at the end, it's just D dominant seven. B sub down a G up down a C down a B down. All right, let's see if you can put that entire verse together. See if you can play and sing along. So, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Diminished. In the lane, snow is glistening. G chord, a beautiful sight. We're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gonna. All right, then verse two will be the exact same thing. Way is the bluebird here to stay? Is the new bird? G chord, he sings a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. Now here's where it's different. We're gonna end verse number two with a C to C dominant seven change. Two beats each, a one and two and three and four and. That'll get us into the chorus section. Okay, very good everybody. You have that intro and also our verse section's complete. Now we're jumping into the chorus section, which is a little bit simpler. We're starting off with an E major chord. It's gonna look and sound like this. In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he's passing brown You say, are you married? We'll say no man E minor But you can do the job while you're in town Alright, and then that'll get us into a reprise of our instrumental section Okay, so here we're playing an E major chord. We're gonna play bass up, down, up, bass. Jump it up to an F sharp note. Another upstroke before going to B dominant seven. Down, up, and then right back to the E major chord. Bass up, down, bass up, down. All right, let's add that to the lyrics. In the meadow we can build a snowman. And we could just play that again, but I like to jazz it up a little bit. And pretend that he's passing brown. So there I played the E chord, bass up, down, up. Next, I'm gonna go to F sharp diminished, slide it up a minor third, to A diminished. And then back to the E major chord. You put those two lines of music together and we have. In the meadow we can build a snowman And pretend that he's passing brown You can also throw in some percussion. All right, next we're on to a G major chord. We're gonna play. He'll say, are you married? We'll say no man. All right, so I took the G chord. Bass up, down, up. A minor seven. Bass up, grab an F sharp note with a thumb, and then go back to the G major chord. Bass up, down, up, before doing the same thing to the E minor chord. So that line of music, he'll say, are you married? We'll say no, man. All right, then we're on to the A7 chord. Next line of music, but you can do the job while you're in town. And then an optional walk down. Third fret, upstroke on the high E string, third fret, and maybe the open B and G. Do it with an F note, an E note, and finally a D note. Again, borrowing from the original bass line. From there, we can go right back into the instrumental section, if you like, or the next verse. Okay, let's put all that together and see if we can play through an entire chorus. A one, two, three, E. In the meadow, we can build a snowman. Bass up, down, and pretend that he is passing brown. He'll say, are you married? We'll say no, man. E minor, A7. But you can do the job while you're in town.
All right, if you can do that, then you're ready to move into the intro reprise, then into verse number three, which is played the exact same way as verse number two, because it's gonna once again lead you to another repeating section, the chorus, which is going to be the exact same uh, thing that we just played, except there'll be just a little difference at the end. Instead of doing that walk down, we're going to play a G major to a G sharp major to set up a key change because the final verse is going to be up a half step. So, you can do the job while you're in town. Down, up, down, up. All right, then from there, the last thing we need to learn, how to play the verse section in the key of C sharp. Okay, beautifully done today, everybody. You have that chord melody intro, you have the verses, you have the chorus. That's really everything you need to perform. Now for our final stop in today's lesson, we're going to cover the optional key change that we hear at the end of the Dean Martin version. So this is really cool. Basically, we're just taking all those chords and modulating them up by a half step. That G sharp major bar chord gets us into the key change where we're gonna start off with the C sharp major chord. Let's just get all the chords down up a half step, and then I wanna invite you just to get wild with it, really let it swing, and experiment with some rhythm options. Okay, so the G sharp major bar chord gets us into the key change, bar in the fourth fret, uh, E to E. I also have sixth fret of the A string, D string, and fifth fret of the G. Later on, then I'll go to the C sharp major chord, frets four, six, six, six. Alternating bass there sounds great. Later on, we'll conspire. Then we have D diminished seven, that same diminished chord we played before, up a half step. All right, then we're back to the G sharp major. As we dream by the fire. Take your pinky off for G dominant seven. All right, then line number three of verse four, to face on a G sharp to F sharp, the plans, F sharp minor, bar in the first fret, third fret of the A and D string, the plans that we made, then A sharp seven flat nine. Okay, put all that together and we have with some rhythm, later on, we'll conspire, diminished, as we dream the fire to face unafraid F minor plans that we made all right then we're gonna loop the same three lines three times but we're gonna elongate them on the final repetition walking in the winter wonderland so here I'm utilizing a D sharp dominant seven Played as a C7 shape, just transposed up. Okay, so frets six, five, six, four. Blocking the high E string and also the low E string. So one and two and G sharp major, one and two and C sharp major. Repeat it. Walking in a winter wonderland. And the final one, we're going to play four beats each. Walk in, just letting it stomp. Through the winter, maybe dominant seven here. Wonderland. From there, we can throw in a nice little turnaround to close up shop. All right, I'm just grabbing uh, the ninth fret of the D string and the high E string. Letting the bass note descend down by half steps. All right, from there, we could just play a C sharp major, maybe throw in the low string as well. All right, to end the tune. You put all that together and we have verse number four. Later on, we'll conspire the diminished as we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland Yeah, walking in a winter wonderland All walking in a winter wonderland
winter wonderland a little slap and a strum of the chord a great way to close up shop Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out this holiday classic. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And also, what song you would like for me to break down next. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And until next time, this is Rob coming at you from my studio here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, saying happy picking.